What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. This Scream 6 update today will be centered on Nev Campbell, some character names, slightly, a test screening, Stu Mocker, Ghostface's mask, that or a variation of the mask, I guess we'll see in the movie, and Melissa Barrera's new comments about the film. Now, firstly, just to start off, of course, with Nev Campbell, Sidney Prescott, since I know that would be the most pressing thing for some people. Nev Campbell will indeed not appear in this movie, and some other specifics were shared with me, so I'm off the belief that she will have an appearance in this movie. But I also do not believe that her disagreements with pay and the mess that has unfortunately led to her exit from the series should result in, like, any of these ridiculous, obnoxious activities that would harm everyone else in the movie who again the movie is filled with so many people who have respect and they love Nev Campbell and they wanted her to be part of this project so I think any negative or overreactions to her exit and some mispractice and malice behavior towards everyone else involved is completely uncalled for it's unnecessary it's not needed and it does nothing to honestly open up Nev Campbell in terms of her wanting to come back because as you have nothing to do with negotiating her pay <laughs> so acting nasty like that towards anyone else in the movie if you're out there doing that cut that out but yes nev campbell is not going to be appearing in the movie she was telling the truth the whole time there's been so many other details again that have been shared so i'm off that belief so as far as again nev campbell to me, the character of Sidney Prescott, I guess this is more about Sidney Prescott at this point, not Nev Campbell. Sidney's arc to me and many others, it's been done since Scream 3. And since she's a comfort character for me and for many others, one thing I've always wanted for her and my other two comfort characters, again, if you follow me on Twitter, you know more, much more about me than if you just listen to my videos. I want peace for my comfort characters. She has been chasing peace since the events of Scream 1. She's been chasing peace since her mother, unfortunately, was killed. She's had so many things that were going on with her during her youth that she was not trying to deal with, and she finally has a chance to have that peace, and I want that for her. I have not always wanted her to have endless killers chasing her, so she just simply goes insane. She's been utilized appropriately in her returns for Scream 4 and Scream 5, and now this series is able to do what Scream 4 was trying to do, and that's move on from Sidney Prescott. You know that to be true if you are aware of Kevin Williamson's trilogy plans for Scream 4. So, despite any negativity I may feel towards her absence, Kevin Williamson is having his is having his intent with the character respected by this new team who seems to be wanting to keep in line what he wanted, which is keeping Sidney in a supporting role going forward if Nev agrees to return, of course, under the right circumstances. So people are always worried about respecting Wes Craven, but I don't see anyone really making a fuss about res respecting Kevin Williamson. This is his character that he created. He wanted her to have peace. He wanted her to be in a supporting role going forward in his trilogy plans, and we will see how that pans out financially for some people who think the box office will take a tank because she's not in it. We will see. But these are the plans that were in place for Sidney when she return for screen four to drop down to a supporting role anyway now i do however prefer to see sydney a sydney centric story wrap up the series if they went a different route that wouldn't bother me but i prefer if you're going to end the series it should end around sydney prescott i'm just being honest that's my personal feelings on it and i'm biased obviously because i love the character so much but just to touch on some other viewer non stuff viewer non has also tweeted some updated character names and if you don't want certain plot specifics that are comparable to finding out grass is green then stop watching so like, for instance, Liana Liberato is playing a character named Quinn. She has a specific connection to another character I'm not going to spoil. You can go find it on Twitter if you want to. Jack Champion is playing Ethan, apparently. Tony River Lori might be playing a character named Jason. And Henry Kazurin is... Concerny is starring in the film as a therapist. Viewer Anon also tweeted that the upcoming trailer will show Ghostface using an old mask, kind of like Michael's mask in Halloween 2018, but not that worn. Question, of course, is where did it come from? How did they get a mask that's this old and this this dirty and worn? Um, so we'll have to wait and see, but Viewer, Viewer Anon also immediately shot down the stew being back thought that people were starting to have so thank god for that now shout out to you tristan because you tweeted out something related to a test screening for scream 6 happening this week and it seems like one actually occurred in cali with positive reactions is what i'm told my guess is babylon is going to be the upcoming paramount movie where we could have a scream 6 trailer attached 
to see the first thing in late December if Paramount wants to give fans an early Christmas gift and an early New Year present. So like Babylon, I think they have high hopes for that movie to be something big for them. So I think attaching the Scream 6 trailer to that move to that movie's release would be ideal in late December. It's coming out right around January anyway. Melissa Barrera has also made these comments on the red carpet recently about the movie. She and this is just translation because she was speaking in Spanish. So if some words are off, I apologize. But she said you're going to die when you when you see it. It's very different, very big, and so far all the comments from people who have seen it have been very good. It will further develop the characters and Nev isn't coming back. So this to me is a further confirmation of the fact that a test screening and other details that will be further backed up when the trailer drops. So a test screening seems like it actually did occur. That, or if it wasn't just a straight up test screening for certain members of the public to attend, it was something related to the studio where some guests might have been invited. But there was someone, again, shout out to you, Tristan, you pointed out somebody seemed to be tweeting about going to a Scream 6 test screening, and they were confident it was that because upon getting there, I guess they found out enough to figure that out, but they were turned away because when it comes to test screenings, there are things they have set up to make sure that you are not someone who is making it known that something is happening they're wanting to reduce any chance of leaks getting out so also knowing that a screening has occurred if you are someone who does not want to know any single thing about scream 6 outside of just minor details related to that like you're gonna get when the trailer drops and obviously when marketing ramps up again you should probably start muting a few search terms you should probably start abandoning certain search social media platforms although twitter might do that for us <laughs> so start saving yourself if you don't want any spoilers that's really all i want to talk about in this video um i'm very excited for scream 6 i think there are certain things that will take place in the movie that many people will be satisfied with i also think that this movie is something that should not be flat out spoiled in any regard in terms of just overly explaining certain things before the movie is out only because stuff with Scream 5 was rampant before they even started filming that and I have to give them real props for even sticking and committing to that because yes knowing how Scream 5 played out some of us all know that Scream 5 basically leaked before they even began filming and they stuck their guns with that storyline and executed it quite well that's just how I feel about it and we'll see if Scream 6 can turn out the same way and it's nice to know that that the majority of this story is not leaking online like what happened unfortunately with screen five but of course you'll start to see more things as march approaches um i'm hoping again that the first trailer is attached to babylon a test screening has occurred it's had positive reactions clips underscore comprehend is also being thrashed over on twitter <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below are you excited for scream six even further if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.